I'm going to tie a hurl midge and starting off with a size 16 scud hook in the vise and I've got a glass bead already on. Uh, the name implies I'm going to be tying this with a stripped hurl body and I'm going to use ostrich in this case so I've got pieces of ostrich hurl here both in red and in black and when you strip this down with a pencil eraser you get these nice pieces of body material that you can use in a variety of applications so that's what I'm going to be using for the body of this the thread is going to be a 14 uh, black and I'll get that started behind the bead trim the tag and I'll build up just a, a thread base here behind that bead. I'm going to put in a slate taper to it so I'll just get that started now or you can do it prior to wrapping your your hurl up. So now I can take my sections of hurl and I want to make sure that they're relatively the same width because I'll tie them in together and bring them both up together. So I'm just trimming the sections and tie these in following the contour of the hook shank now again I'll start to work through some taper and now I'll wrap these up together and one of the benefits of using a thread color that corresponds with one of the hurl colors is that if you don't keep these exactly side by side as you go up that black will show through and cover some of your mistakes so just winding these up and I'll tie it off when I get to my thread and trim the excess I like to put a flashback into this so I'm going to use a pearl tinsel So I'll tie that in on top as well. And fold it over. and some whip finishes behind that bead now to finish this pattern I'll take some Sally Hansen's hard as nails and the interesting point to this is once you apply some sort of coating it really makes those pearl colors pop. They look somewhat muted before you you add this and then everything it's nice and and glossy. You can use other head cement or anything that's going to help protect that that hurl.
give that a bit to set up and dry and it's done. And that is my Hurl Midge.